Greetings from Riga. We're going to go in the under passage where there's usually musicians playing. This guy's got stamina. He's been playing here for months and months and months and months every day. What are they doing here? Oh, I see. So this is one thing that has changed since uh, last time I was here. They've paved Chaka Street. It's one of the main streets here in Riga. Uh, it used to be just worn out asphalt. Another novelty since I came back uh, to Riga after a year is that they finished the bike lanes here and they redid the street and the sidewalk. Good work, huh? I wonder how the traffic is coming along here though because it looks a bit narrower than it used to be. And you can also buy a bicycle over there if you want. These things here have sprung up all over the all over Riga, making it impossible for cars to park on the side except for where it's designated, and uh, making it possible for bicyclists not to drive on the sidewalk as they usually did, which sometimes was a little bit dangerous. Although, it's a subject of controversy here, I think, because some streets are completely devoid of parking, and the lanes have been narrowed to one lane, which makes traveling through Riga slower. So here we are at the hotel. This is what we got for 20 euros. Okay. Right. And a fridge with nothing in it. Let's take a look outside. If you're looking for a flea market where you can buy a lot of weird shit, you come to the right place. The Lot Gale Flea Market. <laughs> Tools, tools, all kinds of tools, axes. It's very hot. Ooh. Very interesting. It's getting really difficult to spend any time here because of the heat. Oh, whoa, look at that pigeon. Jesus. Because uh, of the heat here, it's difficult to concentrate. So I think we're going to go look for a place where there's some air conditioning. Every time you go into a store here, they ask you to carry a basket so they know how many people are in the store. We're at the Troubadour Guru Mom, which is a chain of uh, coffee, pastry shops. French style. Delicious macarons for only one euro. There are no more restrictions in Tallinn. You can go out and to bars until 5 a.m. You don't have to wear masks. And I've heard that in Lithuania it's the same. But here in Riga, they have kept the restrictions insofar as you have to wear a mask when you're indoors there are limited numbers of people that can go into the stores you have to show vaccine passports whenever you go into a bar so Latvia is still under restrictions I hope that uh, soon this uh, COVID situation will be more under control Boy, oh boy, it's hot in Riga, it's hot in Riga, it's hot.